is Leslie Zaire, and I'm a sacred dance teacher from Egypt. As well as teaching sacred dance, I teach tarot and astrology, flower remedies, aromatherapy, and I've basically taken all of these modalities and brought them together in a concept called the Universal Dancer. I also have a website called the Universal Dancer, www.theuniversaldancer.com and that basically talks about the concept of the Universal Dancer as well as sacred dance. And then I have a flower remedies website, www.egyptianflowerremedies.com and that has pictures of all the remedies, the flowers, the sacred sites. And I've also written a book on the sacred dance called The Alchemy of Dance, Sacred Dance as a Path to the Universal Dancer. And basically this book is based on my own experiences as well as the workshops that I've been teaching in Egypt and abroad over the years. The Universal Dancer is basically the concept that's taken from the tarot. The Universal Dancer is the last card of the tarot. It's called the world or the universe. We call it the Universal Dancer. And basically it's the point of fusion. It's the point where we as individuals are dancing with the universe. So it's really the concept of co-creation, where we've learned all the different movements. We hear the music, we hear the call of the universe, we see our destiny, which is the pattern or the dance. And all of this comes together in this concept of the universal dancer. So it's this, it's this constant movement, this constant dynamic, which I think a lot of people are now practicing as we see how we interact with the universe and everything around us, how we take signals from what's going on around us and then we navigate through life. One of Egypt's greatest lessons is the lesson of navigating, the lesson of flow. And I always tell people that come to Egypt that that's what you learn here, is you learn to flow like the Nile. The current is very strong, we're moving in it. You're not going to change the current of the river, but you can learn how to navigate it. And the better that you are at navigating it, the easier it is to move through life. So the concept of the Universal Dancer is the point that we're trying to attain. It's the last point. But we go through all the different stages. We go through the different lines of the tarot. We go through the different processes. We live the different archetypes. So this whole thing is taking us to that end point of the Universal Dancer. And as I said, that's the point of fusion. That's the point we all want to finally get to, is when we are dancing with the universe. There's no resistance. There's nothing outside of us. There's nothing around us. It's all, we're all part of everything. So it's when we move back to unity, or fusion is the way that we move back to unity. The sacred dance that I teach is basically the first line of the tarot and it includes the, seven, the, the first seven cards as well as the Fool and the Universal Dancer. And this, this type of dance, this sacred dance, is an analogy for the bigger dance, the Universal Dance. So we do this, we do this as a practice, like a spiritual practice or a kind of martial arts. And we do this to practice what it would be like to reach that point of fusion or reach that point when we are actually dancing with the universe. What it's like to hear the music and follow that. What it's like to imitate the waves that the universe is, is vibrating in. So sacred dance or this type of sacred dance basically, as I said, is a spiritual practice or practice that we can use to learn how to do that, to practice doing that. Because most of us don't know. In our daily lives we go along in some kind of structure and we don't have an experience of dancing with the universe or sort of surrendering to the music. But as we do that, as we practice that, we can then bring that into our lives and become more familiar with that whole concept of just interaction and that point of fusion that we eventually get to. In this concept of the Universal Dancer, we can look at it, we can use the tarot as a form, and we can move through this form. And we can move through it in stages, but generally people go through it back and forth and up and down, so we don't necessarily go through it just as a line. But we can use all the elements, and we can bring them together. So for example, we can use astrology. 
Astrology helps us to find our place in the universe, what gifts we were given from the time we were born, the seeds that were planted inside of us. The tarot can be used as a, a tool for clarity, to be able to see where you are in the present, because you can't really know where you're going in the future if you don't know where you are in the present. So it's important to have clarity at every stage. So all of these things are tools. The flower remedies, the sacred site remedies, these can all be used as tools to help us get to that point that we want to get to in the end, which is this universal dancer. So most of the things that I teach, although they are diversified, eventually they all come back together and they do come back to bringing us to this point of unity. So I think it's important for the individual to learn these things. Rather than going to an astrologer, you can learn astrology and then you can use it for yourself as you're moving along your path.